Oh. PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan is um, retiring. He will retire after being with Sony for 28 years. Um, he started with Sony Europe in 1994, and he became CEO of Sony Interactive in 2019 after Sean Layden left, oh, Sean if I'm mistaken. Layden, yeah. yeah. Um, so he'll be retiring in March 2024. Sony... Um, Sony Group Corporation President and Chief Chief Operating Officer Hiroki Totoki will take on the role as interim CEO until they can appoint a new um, permanent CEO. No. Um, oh, so it says here in 2019, Ryan um, Ryan placed John Codera as president and CEO of C. Oh, of yeah. I thought it was Sean Layden. Sony Maybe there was I have no fucking media. clue who John Codera even is. <laughs> Maybe like, it's a temporary person maybe he was yeah. temp after sean Layden. yeah am, am i wrong in in saying that jim ryan isn't exactly a beloved uh no he's not no. no he's i don't know if he's had a good he brain. he exudes a lot of very good rich man energy and mm. there were reports i mean there, there was an instance last year where he had like a a um internal email that went out which basically just told his employees, you know, in a weird way to they, that they must enjoy their holiday homes in fucking Europe or whatever. And it's like, um, I do not all of us <laughs> own holiday homes, you know? Um, so he, he had that sort of like energy to, nice. he's also, you know, a lot of people attribute the sort of push towards, um, games as a service, mm, um, to, him. to Jim Ryan, which is true. Um, he spearheaded that. And I've seen some weird shit where people, like, oh, now that he's gone, we can get back to the single player stuff. It's like, nah, that shit's in the pipeline. <laughs> like, that is happening. Um, you know, uh, games as a service equals zero. Uh, good it, job. It doesn't okay. doesn't work like that. Like, I think um, uh, Jason Schreier actually mentioned as part of his reporting here that a lot of studios, first party studios, have struggled with the shift over to games as a service games, and uh, I think we're going to see that play out fairly soon. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely confident that all of that is going to hit and it's going to take years for that to like course correct yeah and um, I, I don't know what that means for Sony it'll be a generation a yeah yeah it'll be a whole generation until that that fixes itself so yeah, yeah. um goodbye jim ryan good enjoy your holiday home <laughs> i think just on that games as a service thing i, I want to jump to the story quickly on Sega cancelling Creative Assembly's Hyenas, um, mm -hmm. which games as a service game that didn't even make it out, out the gate yet. I think Yeah, I yeah. saw a tweet from, was it Andy Cortez? It was someone who basically listed a whole lot of games as a service that have released and died. And it's just like, there's, there's just too many. Like So many, the, you, yeah. You can't. I think every company, like you're right, Sony can't course correct and they won't for a long time. They're going to launch a whole lot of games as a service and I think any person can tell them like, hey, I don't think that's going to work out for you. Like I could be wrong. Mm. Maybe they've got another Fortnite on their hands, for example, like a game that's like sets the world on fire. We don't know. But if history's told us anything, like there's too many games as a service and people just don't have the time to play all of them. Like, I'd love to play yeah. Fortnite and Counter Strike and like all of these games, but I just can't give my time to all of them. Like it's impossible. And now you're going to launch. I mean, they've got tons planned for the PlayStation. Anyways, I think, yeah. Well, the the first one soon is the the Last of Us, uh, the Last yes. of Us one that should be coming out relatively soon. Um, and then Jade Rain Studios making that. One, what's it called? Fair plays or something? Yeah. I don't know. It looks. So, anyways, what, what I'm getting at is like uh, Sega's canceled this game, and I, 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 I don't see this trend stopping. Like, it's it's just the two. I mean, Bungie's making one. I just yeah. remembered. I'm just like trying to think of all the first party studios we know are making um, games as a service things. If I'm not mistaken, Housemark is working on one as well. Um, Fire Sprite is working on one. Like again, this is just Sony First Party Five. Yeah, it's too games many games service. Like that, that's insane. That's it's, just insane. So ba back to this so. piece. Sega announced it had cancelled the hyenas in a financial update. It blamed the decision on lower profitability of the European region. 
<laughs> it's almost like yeah. people don't have enough time and money to put into. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it there was um there was some hubbub about the development of this um well it was actually came from Sega basically publicly saying that the development had been challenging on this project. Mm. So a few weeks it's, later them like outright cancelling it instead of even going free to play is a bit telling. Yeah. Um but I guess so that hap- that's happening. And it's sorry, just on the same theme, uh Epic Games, the people who own Fortnite cutting 16% of staff. Um, <laughs> so even even the Epic, who is like in my head printing money from a game like Fortnite, which is the absolute pinnacle having issues. Like I'm not saying it's because of X, Y, Z, but it's just interesting that like even them, like they cutting staff down. And I, I think when this article broke, oh, did I link the wrong? I, I had a piece that I could read. Um, I swear I could have read this. I the, read this. Earlier. This one, this one makes me more angry yeah. than anything else because of um. So Tim Sweeney, He's come out they published stuff, like yeah. a memo, and that memo. Put it this way: like everything that's happening at Epic now, these layoffs are a result of his decisions. Yes, and instead of him taking, say, a gigantic pay cut, mm. he is cutting jobs. So. They basically said in the memo that they are rapidly outspending as opposed to what they're bringing in. Um, so firstly, they are just like obviously going down the wrong avenues in terms mm. of business. Um, I'm almost certain it wasn't spelled out there, but the the fucking legal fees that they keep paying to fight Apple, uh, Apple yeah. in increasingly stupid ways um, are definitely to blame for that sort of imbalance mm. because... They've just now petitioned the Supreme Court in the US to kind of overall like that sort of shit is hundreds it's, of thousands of dollars. If not more. that's just being pissed away for the dumbest like anyway. Um the memo also noted that the Fortnite creator program where if I'm not mistaken, like creators get a cut of things yeah, that they create they in Fortnite. You. Um so now that's like defined as a lower margin business and they are kind of seeing like less money come from Fortnite as a result because now they have to pay out these creators. Um, so these are all things like in the memo that seem to be expected and then they go, oh, but still we have to fire like 900 people because we're spending too much. Like that's a CEO problem. Like yeah. that is a C-suite problem that they should be putting their hands up and being like, we fucked up. We're going to, you know, sort of like uh, Sotaro Iwata who like cuts his paycheck in like half when mm-hmm. that happened to Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, I don't know. it's weird because look, I, I know there's big picture stuff, um, but I I, I just think, and uh, again, like I know Epic is bigger than Fortnite, but it just in my head, I think Fortnite has like tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, of people playing, and I know not everyone spends money, but that game makes a lot of money, like it really it makes does, a fortune, so much money, and I'm like yeah. that game alone, maybe it can't carry the whole company, but surely. Surely you can afford to keep. If you are if you are outspending yeah. Fortnite, you are, you are you, doing you, nothing wrong. You are the problem. <laughs> not, yeah, you are the problem. Not your like, staff. You are the like, problem. There's there's something wrong with how you're running the company. So I don't know. I, I thought the story also, was very really weird. It's really sad that a lot of the um, layoffs are coming not from like core epic ones, but like um, businesses they've acquired. So it seems like most, if not all of media tonic just got completely gutted and that's like that's, that's the creators of one of the most viral games yeah. of this generation in fall guys and they're just gone like i think this will give a lot of studios pause before they decide to sign to just, with epic yeah in the future mm. yeah well yeah because even given yeah i don't know given the the unity thing that happened <laughs> A while back, what's just? Oh, just in general, like like Epic bought Mediatonic, and they bought like Psyonix, who did Rocket League and whatever. And at the time, everyone's like, "That's a good move." You yeah. know, you're an indie dev, you get stability now. This is not stability. I know, but if you can just be completely shuttered, like no, this, no, but that, that's what I'm saying. As was like the way Unity slapped on fees, which like caused huge backlash. I mean, what's to stop Epic from? changing the whole unreal engine at some stage going <laughs> this is how we course correct yep. Yep. You know, the fact that we are outspending <laughs> i don't know it's Fucking it's no. very sad to see. and it's it's just very shocking because you think 
epic and then they're cutting 16 yeah. percent of staff that's that's a huge number it's 900 like, jobs it's a lot of people it's a lot of people yeah it's it's a it's it's, ho- it's a whole studio for most most triple a studios aren't even that large no that's yeah like it's crazy crazy so, very sad to see um in other free to play news quickly kind of shrug to his art now <laughs> <laughs> This is tell me about it. Tell this me. is amazing purely because I knew Counter Strike Two was was coming out um, at some stage. I didn't realize. I don't know if it had a hard release I date. Think they teased it last week. They were like teasing but just, something last just week. on a day that like it's out. Here's a launch trailer. Yeah, there, there was some <laughs> there was some CS:GO like competition happening, and people were waiting for that to end, and then they dropped it at the end of that. Or uh, yeah, so, I just re- I saw people on Slack talking about it like. Mm. Um, yeah. So what's what's quite surprising is that it makes sense, um, but Counter Strike, uh, the the previous game CS Go Counter Strike Global Offensive no longer exists on Steam. Mm. It's, it's just gone. it's just been replaced with Counter Strike Two, uh, for better or for worse. Like I, it's funny because I think I read an article just this morning of somebody saying it's it's a bit weird because this game's launched and it's missing some features that were in the previous game but you can't even access the previous game so like it just is what it is i um, i do but, think it's a smart way to do it because yeah, you can't no, have no you can't have both, both. Running, no no yeah. I, I completely agree but i almost feel then why don't you launch a game with an equivalent set of features for example i don't know maybe, yeah. maybe it's stuff that's going to be added um but like also Probably. some some criticisms like there's not a single new map there's no new weapons but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they had to get. It's this also launch. free. It's free. Yeah. No, kind kind of struck was free. CS:GO was free. You no, could, no. but was, like no CS:GO, you had to purchase, didn't you? No, no. It it was at a stage years ago. You had to purchase it, but then it did have a free to play model where basically what happened is if you were new to the game, you could play it for free but you would get prioritized into like a lower tier of matchmaking. Right, right, right. And yeah. then if you bought CSGO, you'd get like a prime or whatever it is, you know, like a, a premium account and then you were kicked out of that lower priority pool of matchmaking. I, I, I think I think what I'm saying is like they've they've updated it to, to CSGO 2 mm. and like people are being like critical, like oh, oh yeah, new no. weapons and, and maps. It's like, okay, it's free. but it's no, like, no, it's on a whole new engine. Yeah. Um. And they they overhauled like the the way the server handles, mm. you know, latency and ticks. Like that's a yeah, gigantic a change. No, no, no. Yeah, they, yeah. So but, yeah. I think I think people need to calm down. Like this, <laughs> you didn't but have also, to pay for this update. No, but so also like, it's it doesn't mean that that stuff will never happen. Like I I almost feel yeah, that of course hundred percent. I almost feel yeah. that this is a they've they've like moved over to the new source engine, whatever, and. You know, this is just the first step. Maybe they are going to include other... I mean, I imagine they will. This is... It's a kind of strike game. They're going to support it for like the next mm. 10 years probably, if not longer. And they're going to add give you, to I'll it. give you the, pers- the perspective of someone who works in software. <laughs> the bigger an update, the more terrifying it is. Yeah. Because there are so many more potential things that can break. So if yeah. you are moving something wholesale from one engine to another... Mm. And you are changing the fundamental way it works mm. in calculating like shots online. Those two things alone are big enough changes that you just want that to get out there, let people fuck around with it, mm. let it settle and feel like then you have had, a base yeah. before you start pumping. If you go there with now like, cool, there's five maps, there's these weapons, there's these. Now you've got all these other variables of like, okay, well, when there's a problem, it could be so many other things yeah. contributing to that problem. So I like I think this is a totally fine way for them to go about mm. things. Like they, like you said, they will add more stuff. Of course they will. Yeah. Like that it's not all there on the first day, it's totally fine. Yeah. If they were charging you twenty dollars for this, totally oh, fine, yeah. then you can have criticism. But this mm. is a free update. Like Yeah. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Um so I'm very keen to dive into that at some stage in my life. <laughs> when uh, there's <laughs> One not, day. there's not so many releases. Um, and then last few pieces of news. This one is hilarious and sad at the same time. Sculpers swarm the Van Gogh Museum for a Pikachu promo card. Um, that poor museum probably didn't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, so if, if you don't know, the Van Gogh Museum and Pokemon Company have partnered 
for a very Van Gogh Museum is in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, correct? I think, yeah. Yeah. Um they've they've partnered for a very cute exhibition, Pokemon inspired exhibition. So like, cute. What a as as someone who works in marketing, or even if you don't, what a what a power move. Like what a clever idea. Like just I don't know, just genius. Put putting yeah. these cute little pocket monsters as like classic paintings in a it's in a so cute. Um, but the problem is that this this whole exhibition has a custom uh, promo card, <laughs> mm. which people know so will of be worth some cash monies, if not today, in future, like worth a lot of money. So, of course, sculptors are out there um, trying to that do that. That card thing. is unbelievably cute, though. I mm. fucking love it so much. Like in the Van Gogh paint style with it's, the Pikachu and a Van Gogh hat. It's, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Um, Real good. Yeah. They they had like a little pop up Pokemon Center there, and you mm. could purchase like a Pikachu plush in Van Gogh <laughs> gear. That's so cute. And, Look at that. And the promo card came with any one of these, so that's how people are going absolutely mental. Mm. So I think they've actually posted since being like all the shit sold out already. Yeah. Um. But I Jump. think they hadn't inst inst like instigated a one item per person limit on the first day and that's why it was such a it's shit right. show. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Hate uh, to see it. And then last last bit of news, uh new Lies of P update includes various changes to make the game easier. So when you shared this this news in our Discord this week and we thought we all immediately thought cool they've added like uh difficulty sliders or something to make the game mm. more accessible. For people like Darren, who desperately want to try this game, but just don't like the thoughts of being, you know, being told to get good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that's not the case. Turns out they just made the game easier. Like they, they've it's patched kind in. Kind of nuts to me. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of wild. Um, so uh, so they did things like decreasing HP, increasing like the chance of stagger, stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it's just unusual for a game like this to have a change like that and you best believe mm. the, now this upsets me you best believe there'll be people going like ah oh, yes i played Liza p when it was still difficult <laughs> oh of course oh of course like like i like i was telling you then the you know from always tweaked things in elden ring they never outright said we are making this boss easier but they would be like tweak the health thing for balance reasons and they'll be like yep they made it easier there we go i beat yep. him when he wasn't easy and it's like yeah. oh, for fuck's sake go away yeah but uh yeah. this is interesting this is a game i still want to desperately well, i still desperately want to play um i'll get to this it. whole paragraph here where they've just like they've got like six bullet points of them decreasing the hp of bosses which yeah. is wild. decrease no. the hp of fallen archbishop decreased hp yeah that's it's a lot. Players will not mm. be able to carry more weight for each. Uh, I mean, they've made this game too easy. Don't even bother playing it now. It's <laughs> yeah. My, go play a cr uh, Crash Bandicoot. That's harder. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game looks good. It's been received well, and I cannot wait to play it. But Ivan, me. That is me. news for this week.